Hey, Toby, I'm Rick Hong of LRM Online. And I had to do it. I had to get the, I was like, what background do I want? I was hoping I could find this one and I've got it. So it makes me super <laughs> happy. <laughs> so that's good. That's good. I wanted to tell you congratulations on this series, man. I love it. Love your character. So this one's got to be special to come back to season three. Because, you know, because like Jeremy off screen kind of had, you know, hit, hit a little bit of a rough off season and everything. So I'm wondering when you get to set, when you get to set, I know your instinct is probably you just want to give him like a big bear hug. But yeah, yeah. you're a bigger guy. So I don't know if you get to set. You're kind of like, maybe I'll just give him a fist bump or I'll give him like an air hug. <laughs> no, I'll hug him. I, yeah, I'll carry him sometimes. I carry him. He's like, you know. <laughs> Like a little Romeo and Juliet thing going on there, but I'm joking. I don't, I don't, do, that. I don't do that with Jeremy. But, um... <laughs> How was it like just for you signing up for this character as in season one, and then now you're in season three? I mean, did you know what you were signing up for? Because even from season one to season season two was vastly different for your character. Yeah, I mean, so I, I. I... I didn't know. I just, I signed up to do good work and I've been blessed and fortunate enough to be surrounded by not only, not only uh, um, a great group of actors, but also um, 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 a great crew. The crew is always fantastic. You know, they, they, they work solidly, but they always have a very positive, positive outlook. Um, and, and they treat me very, they treat me kindly um, and always have uh, such patience with me. Um, so, so I just, I, I just, I signed up for that and this is what's born out of it. Um, so it's always, it's, I always sign, I always try to um, affirm the positive in, in, in a lot of the, in a lot of the work that I, uh, that I, that I embark on. And it's, it's kind of paid, it's paid me back tenfold in, you know, in, in where, in where they take the character and where they take the story and and what they what they what they trust me with um so i i i, I don't want to betray that um i want to honor it i want to honor the opportunity by doing my best work so yeah i wanted to talk about season two for just a second because season one like your character's kind of chill like you're on the lawn a lot you know and jeremy renner comes to you season two you go to prison so i was wondering as you as the actor and everything too just to be like oh wow like the locations the locations of kind of being like, hey, I'm outside, I'm on the lawn, I'm drinking a beer in school, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> season two, you're in a prison. So I was wondering how that yeah. experience was for you. That was that was very eye opening, actually. There's a in, uh, the prison we're shooting at in uh, uh, was is it's a decommissioned prison in um, in Pittsburgh. So just just being there, being inside it, um, you feel the energy, um, you feel it like lives were spent within the walls and stuff. And it's it's not something that is lost on me. There are still markings on the wall where people kind of um etch their name into, you know, into it and stuff like that. And and not just that, but just, you know, sometimes I go around when I'm in in Pittsburgh, when I'm around, I um I, I talk to people and you'd be surprised what what stories they have and they share. There are some people who have actually spent time um in those prisons. So they're telling me things um that that um that I've never come across before. I remember I went to a football, I went to a Steelers game once and there was a guy nice. sitting in front of me. <laughs> there was a guy sitting in front of me who um he watched the show. Um he was with his dad and his dad had just come out of doing a 25 year bid, I think it was, or for for and um and um uh, he was out and he was just happy to be out, you know, um, but he said he spent, uh, I think, 11 or 12 years um, of his time in the prison we were filming in. And that really struck me because uh, um, the 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 feeling that I that he had, I've kind of the, the sort of the heaviness that he carried, I felt it in that prison. So I was able to make that connection and stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it not only does it work for help for 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 character sake, for character work, and just for just um just to be in that environment, but also to to be moved by it just as an individual, as a human being. Um, yeah. I was like wondering for you, like how enjoyable it is for you to 
be the actor to read the scripts, go to your scenes, but then turn it on and be like, oh, that's the stuff that I was referencing. Oh, this is the stuff that was happening when I wasn't there. Oh, mate. Mate, it's um so so I um I I used to actually go to set sometimes if I wasn't working, if I wasn't filming. So I got to see um a lot of the scenes that I'd read in the script. And also I did that deliberately just so I could meet um um you know the other actors because uh, because it would be shot in the winter so some people didn't actually some people just left they went back home when they weren't filming and stuff like that but i live in england so it was i can't just leave do you know what i'm saying um so wh wh whatever opportunities i had i took to go to set and just because uh, I, I love being around it um and luckily i was indulged in that so um um reading the scripts is one thing it's shocking, you know. The script, is, the script itself is it's a gripping. It's a gripping story. Um, seeing it is a completely different experience. Um, it's like it's it's like it's like the feeling I had when I read the script, but a hundred times over. Um, and then and then you watch it, you watch it live, and then you watch it on the monitors. And it's and it's just it's now even more focused than I. Oh my god, I can't. It's like magic, crazy. I love it. 